is good, Gray Gang. We're here checking the traps, and I'll tell you what, boys. I reckon we got something pretty good. Big old bobcat. Perfect leg catch. This one was even on a rubber jaw trap, so this bobcat is perfectly fine. Didn't suffer at all. Even if it would have been in a normal trap, you wouldn't have suffered. It's just there to hold his hand. Don't want to get too close because bobcats, I've said this in one of my past videos, literally probably the worst animal I've ever saw in my life are on a meanness scale. I, they're even above a coon. But here is the bobcat. She's over there just sitting down. She honestly doesn't know if we see her or not. And even at that, she's not going to make a bet that we do. She's gonna stay down try to blend in and move as little as possible now we're not gonna get too close like i said we're gonna actually get a selfie stick just so that we can get some good footage and y'all can see what a bobcat looks like up close an up close view of a bobcat's not something that you see every day she's definitely gonna try to snatch at it but uh yeah there's the big bobcat oh yeah this is a good good little bobcat bigger than i originally thought at first i really didn't think she was that big but uh yeah Pretty little bobcat right there. We're just gonna move around and see how she reacts once I come around this way. But, uh, yeah, there's the side view of the bobcat. Doesn't really know what's going on. She doesn't know who to look at, me or Zach, but I've actually recently got a bobcat on trail camera, and I'll be honest, guys, I don't think this is her. I think this is a different one, which which means there's definitely more in the area, which I didn't doubt that for a second anyhow. And so right now, guys, I'm going to go ahead, dispatch this bobcat. That way we can take it on home, utilize every piece of this thing, the fur, possibly the meat. And before everyone goes down in the comments and starts hating, just keep in mind that these bobcats... They're, they're everywhere. Like, I know that a lot of people don't see bobcats, but that's not because they're not around. It's just because they're so elusive, and they're super smart, and they're not going to get anywhere near a human. And trust me, guys, they know where you are at all times. I've had them stalk me before. Not necessarily with intent to eat me, but I have had them stalk me without me knowing. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead, dispatch this bobcat, and then we'll go ahead and collect our resources. Alrighty, Grey Gang, I just dispatched the bobcat, but here it's the bobcat a lot bigger than i originally thought after it actually stretches out here we got him right there in that rubber jaw trap you can see right there there's nothing wrong with his foot the only thing is it's a little dark right there that's just where you know the initial dirt hit it and it's still stuck on the fur but besides that i'm feeling of his foot it's perfectly fine he sustained zero injuries from this just a little bit of shock at the beginning but anyways guys i'm gonna go ahead Grab this bobcat. I just want to say, we're not doing this to trophy. Oh, I got a bobcat. No, we're actually going to use every part of this bobcat. I'm going to take his fur, which is the main source of bobcats are for. I think we're also going to eat this guy because bobcat meat, believe it or not, it tastes really good. It's really comparable to mountain lion meat, which is also very good. I never ate a mountain lion or a bobcat. <laughs> I've ate a bobcat. I've not made a mountain lion, but everyone who does eat mountain lions say that they're good. And I've ate a bobcat. It's also pretty good. But not only those two things, but we're also taking it out of the woods, which to a lot of people doesn't make sense, and I kind of understand that, but at the same time, for some things to live, others have to die. Meaning for a bobcat to live, about five rabbits have to die. And for five rabbits to live, a bobcat has to die. It's really just one or the other, and either option is okay. It's just in this case, we're gonna let the five rabbits live, and we're gonna harvest this bobcat. Is it pouring blood? It's peeing. Peeing. Yeah. But Thank you for drinking that candle. Okay, guys, as you can see, it's actually dark. We have a lot right there, but we're going to be skinning this guy nevertheless. I mean, we got to get it done. I'm going to be wearing blue surgical gloves just that way I don't get some kind of disease and die because that's kind of, that can happen. Dude. I mean, Daniel Boone didn't wear gloves, but... It's because Daniel Boone was a real man. Yeah, Daniel Boone didn't live that long either. <laughs> yeah, you got the point. But I'm going to go ahead and put these things on. The knife we're going to be using is... I've done lost. It is a KG knife right here. This is the KG pocket knife. I use it for everything. I've used it for skinning squirrels. I skinned my deer with it. I skinned a coon with it. I've cut down trees with it. And now I'm going to skin a bobcat with it. So here we go, guys. And just so you know, it is going to show a little bit of meat. But this is educational video. You know, we're showing you how to fully utilize a bobcat. Just disregard the very creepy looking shadow on the wall. Like that is, that is a weird shadow. That is not one you see every day. But anyways, guys, here we go. And we'll start at the heel. Get my knife. You're going right up in there. Oh yeah. And also this knife right here, if you do want it, it's available on the shop right now. KendallGrade1.com slash shop or first link in description. You can go ahead, check out the knife, support the channel, keep us going here. And now, now once I get it cut a little bit, now I can actually start peeling off the skin, pulling that leg back. Right there, we're showing some of the good meat that we're actually going to be eating. I'm th I've been thinking about how we're going to cook it. And I'm going to go home and look up a few recipes, but I think if we're maybe going to slow roast it, but not roast it, like in a crock pot, whatever you want to call that. Just below the skin, not into the meat. Doing good so far. Good, 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 good. And we're getting really good now. 
Now I'm start peeling it off of the top. If you look here on the bottom, you can see that it doesn't have extremely defined spots. That they usually don't have. They call these dirty caps. I'm in Kentucky if you want to know for sure. But if you want to get super defined spots, you usually get those out west in like Colorado. Now we can pull this and spur down. And we're getting somewhere now. We're getting somewhere pretty good. Now this right here, this is no different than someone skinning out a cow for you to eat at McDonald's. No different at all. It's all the same process. And now at this point, all I have to do is really just pull down and a lot of the, a lot of the fur should be able to just peel off. It's kind of cold. You can, you can kind of see some steam coming off of him because we just killed him not too long ago, about an hour ago. And uh, yeah, we're still going. We're pulling it down. We're pulling the fur down. We got a really good way so far. And uh, we're just pulling the fur off of it. That way, one, you know, obviously we can have the fur down here. And then two, well, I don't really know. It's just part of skin. And I don't know what I'm talking about right now. I'm just, I'm just getting at it. I guess a good thing to be doing right now while I'm this far into it is a uh, if you're liking the video so far, <laughs> you can subscribe. I mean, you can subscribe and become a part of the Grey Gang if you're not already. Which, if you are a part of the Grey Gang and you're liking the video so far, go ahead and hit the like button because the more likes, it's just, it just, I don't know, it's just show, it's good support. And so now, guys, as you can see, the entire thing is done for. I mean, the, the skin, at least, all the fur is in my hand right now. And, the, and then what I'm gonna do with this fur, I'm gonna put it here in the garbage bag, freeze it overnight. That way, I'll have time. I can think about it. I can flesh it later. And then whenever I decide to, I can use this fur however I want. But now we're gonna set the actual fur right there and I'm gonna focus my attention back over here for what we're actually gonna eat. Now looking at the bobcat, there's a lot of use for me. And I think the part that we're actually gonna be doing in this particular video, I think we're gonna go with the hams and the back legs. We're gonna cut them off right here. And then we're thinking about maybe put them into a crock pot with like some carrots and potatoes and a bunch of good stuff. And then cook it for hours until it just thaws off the bone. That's the plan, and I'll tell you what, we're gonna get on that, and then we'll get back with y'all whenever we start cooking it, I guess. Okay, we'll see you. So here we are, guys. Here's actually the bobcat in the crock pot cooking up. As you can see, you know, looking good and everything. As we poke the meat and everything. It's a little pink in there, not gonna lie. But hey, that's okay. Now, if we're gonna be honest here, I didn't really cook any of this. I didn't prepare any of it. My mom did. I asked her if she could do it, and she said as long as she didn't have to eat it, she was down. So, you know. I guess that's about how that's about how it went. In addition to the bobcat, we also put some potatoes in there, you know, get some good taters in there, and then we put some carrots in there. Honestly, probably not gonna eat them, but they do look nice in the camera view. And anyways, guys, we're gonna head on outside, get me a plate full, and then we're gonna go ahead and start chomping on it. And now here we are today. Here is the final thing. Looks pretty good. Got some ketchup here. Bobcat here, Predator, straight, you know, goodness, hopefully. Taters right there, and then carrots right there. I don't know how I'm gonna set y'all down. Maybe right there, possibly, I don't know. It's really weird. It's raining behind me, if you can hear that, so there's not a lot I could do today besides just, I don't know, eat a bobcat. Now, whenever we caught the bobcat, Zach was here, my friend, but he's actually not here right now. He had to work, but I am going to give him some of the bobcat later. Here we go. First day. Like, it's really good, guys. No lie. It tastes just like any other meat in the world. Uh-uh. I know what, I know exactly what, mm, well, I know exactly what this tastes like. 100% what this tastes like, and it's not what you're thinking. I'm not about to say chicken. I'm not about to say coon. I'm about to say turkey. Yeah, I know. It doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, yeah, I know bobcats eat turkeys all the time, but does that mean that you, you are what you eat? I mean, no, it doesn't. But it sure does taste like turkey. And what I mean by that is how it's like dry because there's no fat in a bobcat. Bobcats are leanest animal in the woods almost. So there's no fat on them. And by the way we cook them, they turn out to be very stringy, just like turkey. So I can just shred this off here. Maybe, maybe not. But I can just shred this off, shredded turkey, basically. Dip that thing in ketchup. Mm. I'm eating stinking turkey. This tastes like school turkey. Okay, yeah, I just figured out what that really was. Okay, kids, it is not turkey at school. I knew turkey, I knew they wouldn't be serving that. Come on now, Kendall, try a potato. I will admit, I didn't kill this tater, but I'm about to eat the tater. Okay, okay. I mean, I don't know. Tastes like a tater, I guess. Here's a carrot. I said I probably wouldn't eat carrot. Probably won't eat many. It's probably only one. 
Yeah, they're disgusting. Who wants to eat a carrot? Compared to the rabbit catching cooks and the squirrel catching cooks and every other catching cook has been an utter disaster. This is actually something that I would be proud to cook up and serve to the President of the United States. I want to, this is amazing, people. This is, this is as good as it gets. Maybe steak could be better, but where are you going to get a steak from? A cow? You don't see me out here trapping any cows, do you? But anyways, guys, just a final look. Look at all that. That is some good stuff. I'm actually going to go on inside, finish up this plate because there's, there's, it's really good and I'm kind of hungry right now. But if you like the video and you're not subscribed, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. Why not? I'll be posting a lot more content just like this in a way. And also while you're at it, hit the like button and leave me a good comment while you're down there. And if you're already subscribed and if you want to support the channel, you can head on over to kindlegrade1.com slash shop. Pick up the knife like we were skinning the bobcat at the beginning or just about anything else. But I'll see you later, my people. Hey, Greg gang. Like, comment, subscribe, hashtag Jesus, hashtag Grey Gang. Hope you liked the video. Keep on watching Kinder Grey Outdoors.